if your iPhone does not have Dynamic Island, today you can finally enable it. This method uses the latest tweaks from Misaka, and it works on many older iPhone models that never had Dynamic Island from the factory. In this video, I will show you how to activate a fully working Dynamic Island on any unsupported iPhone running iOS 16 up to iOS 26, and you can do it without jailbreak. So if you want to upgrade your device with the modern Dynamic Island experience, this is the full guide. Okay, let's get started. To enable Dynamic Island on an unsupported iPhone or iPad, you first need to save your mobile Gestalt file. This file contains important system information that Misaka uses to unlock advanced features, including Dynamic Island, Always on Display, Trollpad, and more. To do this, download the Save Mobile Gestalt shortcut using the link in the description. Open the shortcut and follow the instructions shown on the screen. When the shortcut finishes loading, tap the button that says Click Here. Then select File with Circular Icon. Tap on it, then select NS String. A long list of plist code will appear. Select all of the code from the very beginning to the very end. Tap Share and choose Copy. Once copied, go back and tap OK button. Your Files app will open automatically asking where you want to save your mobile desktop file. Choose any folder you prefer. After the file is saved, open the Files app. And find the mobile desktop file. Then send the mobile Gestalt file to your computer using AirDrop, email, WhatsApp, Discord, or any file transfer method you like. When the file is on your computer, you're ready for the next step. Next, download Misaka 26 on your computer. Misaka is available for both Windows and Mac OS, so you can choose whichever version matches your device. In my case, I will be using the Windows version of Misaka. Once the Misaka 26 installer finishes downloading, go ahead and install it on your computer. To connect your iPhone or iPad to Misaka, you first need to install iTunes on your computer. Download and install iTunes using the link in the description iTunes provides the necessary drivers for your device to communicate with Misaka. Once iTunes is installed, open Misaka 26 on your computer. Now plug your iPhone or iPad into your computer using a USB cable. Inside Misaka, click the button that says Select Mobile Gestalt Plist File. Choose the mobile Gestalt file you created earlier and transferred to your computer. After selecting the file, Misaka will load all available features for your device. If you want to enable Dynamic Island, you will see two different options in the features list. Choose either one you prefer and turn it on. You can also enable other features such as Apple Intelligence, Always on Display, Action Button, Troll Pad, and more. Before applying the changes, you must temporarily turn off find my iPhone in your device settings. This step is required for Misaka to apply the configuration. You can turn Find My iPhone back on after everything is finished. When you're ready, click Apply. Your device will restart automatically. This is normal and part of the process. After your device restarts, you will see the Select Network screen. Just connect your iPhone or iPad to Wi-Fi or simply wait a moment and it will continue automatically. Once the setup finishes, the Misaka tweak has been successfully applied to your device. Now let's check the results. As you can see, my iPhone XS has successfully enabled Dynamic Island, even though this device was never supported by Apple. I also now have Apple Intelligence interface features running on my older device, which normally would only be available on the newest iPhone models. And this method does not only work on iPhones, 
It also works on iPads, allowing you to unlock the same features, depending on your device model and iOS version. With Misaka, you can bring modern features to older hardware safely, easily, and without jailbreak. If the features or tweaks do not apply the first time, don't worry. Sometimes, Misaka 26 requires a second attempt to activate certain functions. Simply click Apply again and let the device restart one more time. In most cases, applying the configuration twice will successfully enable all Misaka 26 features. And that's it! You've just enabled Dynamic Island on an unsupported device using Misaka, with no jailbreak required. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.